with a, a new video of what's going on at Basel World 2017. I've done a bunch of videos with different watch brands and what they have been doing here at the Basel World uh, 2017. And now I'm going to continue with Hamilton, a watch brand which should be pretty well known. They're owned by Swatch Group, uh, but they, they were um, back in the day an American a watch brand, but uh, later in 1971, they were they were acquired uh, by a Swiss company, and today it's a Swiss watch company, but heavily inspired by uh, by um, American design and uh, different American culture. Uh, my name is Anas, and if you haven't seen all my other videos here on Watch On channel, uh, feel free to watch them after this uh, this kind of a walkthrough of what Hamilton are presenting here at Ham at uh, Baselworld. Sorry. 2017 remember to subscribe to my channel you can su subscribe by hitting the the logo button down in the right corner so let's start out with the first watch this uh, watch is called called the odc x03 and as you can see it's a very very futuristic watch this watch is uh, in uh, the press release from hamilton been uh, spoken about like a kind of a Hollywood watch or futuristic movie watch. Uh, they uh, write in the press release that the, the first uh, relationship they had with Hollywood began in 1951 with the, when they sponsored a movie called uh, The Frogman, which actually got uh, Oscar nominated. So fast forward to 2014 and they uh, delivered the watches to uh, uh, a movie called Interstellar and that was really a new uh, plunge for Hamilton into uh, the whole popular culture, the whole Hollywood scenario. And now um, they are really inspired by by uh, moving into to uh, Hollywood and, and these more spacey and and uh, more futuristic watches like uh, like this uh, watch, the ODC X03. And if we look at this watch, it's a big, big watch. It's uh, it measures 49. Uh, millimeters times 52 millimeters so it's a big big watch it's a titanium with the P black pvd coating and what is very interesting if you if you look at the dial uh, the dial is actually a 3d printed jupiter dial with three uh, sub dials so very interesting way of doing uh, a dial what you get here is also a, a watch with a, a sapphire crystal and a and double anti-reflective coating so this is uh, quite nice as a uh, uh, when the light hits the, the the face of the watch, the dial of the watch, you will be able to to read the time much better. Also, it's water resistant down to 100 meters. It's fitted with the ETA 2671 and can uh, uh, and can actually be uh, measure three different time zones, which is really really cool. So this is also like a GMT or a traveler's watch. Uh, also, this watch is uh, highly limited, very limited to 999 pieces. Uh, and is uh, priced at 3,500 3, Swiss francs. So this is a quite expensive watch, uh, being a Hamilton watch, but also a very special piece. Now, this is one of the true classics within uh, Hamilton's uh, different watch references. And this is, of course, the Hamilton Ventura. And if you don't know the Ventura, just a short history is that it's a very kind of... Um, uh, kind of futuristic uh, watch, um, very dressy, very uh, kind of uh, uh, artsy fartsy back in the 1957 when it was released. So this is actually the 60th anniversary anniversary of the Ventura watch. And what is uh, quite uh, known about this watch is that uh, um, Elvis Presley actually wore a Ventura watch. So this version just shortly is <clears throat> comes in three different versions, a smaller uh, one um, and a bigger one, of course, um, both for women and for men. Uh, the first version here is a quartz uh, version uh, with um, and it's a stainless steel with yellow P PVD coating. If we move on, uh, it also comes in this uh, kind of uh, crazy denim kind of uh, design, which is really looks like a fashion watch very much, but um, well, definitely not my style, but maybe some uh, people would like it. And also it comes in this with this skeletal uh, dial, and this is the automatic version. The two first ones were uh, quartz, and here you get a, a much higher price at 1600 Swiss francs, but still it's not very expensive for uh, 
a very special piece like this. What you get here is again uh, sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. Water resistance down to 50 meters <clears throat> and it comes on a black rubber strap or stainless steel. Uh, this uh, watch uh, measures 42.5 uh, uh, times 44.6 millimeters. So quite a big watch uh, uh, for being kind of a fashion watch. Now this watch is one of the big winners in my opinion uh, at here at uh, Basel 2017. And this is a remake of a classic Hamilton watch that, that they did called Chronograph B which were, was released back in 1968. So now they're actually re-releasing this watch and call it, calling it Intramatic 68. Uh, and this uh, comes with, a, as you can see on the picture, uh, what, they will, what is called a reversed panda dial. So back in the days they released this watch and now they're doing a new version. I think it looks absolutely uh, stunning this uh, Intramatic 68. It comes uh, in a size of 42 millimeters, which is a little bit sad, I think. I think when doing these kind of vintage uh, re-editions, relaunch of uh, old vintage watches, they should stay at 39 or 40 millimeters. But still 42 is definitely a sweet spot um, just between people lying, liking smaller watches and people liking bigger watches. So it's maybe not a bad marketing move from, from Hamilton, but I would have uh, loved them to do it uh, at 39 or 40 millimeters to really uh, celebrate celebrate the, the older days where watches were a lot smaller. But what we get here is an absolutely stunning watch, as you can see, with two subdials and uh, a date uh, window at six o'clock. Absolutely amazing, two pushers, classic chronograph style racing chronograph watch. It's, uh, it's made of stainless steel, uh, you get a, a back, black um, leather strap with it, and it's actually fitted with what they call the H31 automatic movement. So this gives you no less than 60 hours of power reserve, which is quite, quite nice for a chronograph watch. I don't know if, the, if you actually have uh, the chronograph engaged, if it can keep uh, the power running for 60 hours. I think when you have the chronograph running, uh, it will spend a lot more energy, but still 60 hours is absolutely amazing. You get a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, uh, water resistance down to, to 100 meters. And it's of course uh, in, in, in uh, the tradition of 1968, limited to 1968 pieces. The price is uh, 2,150 Swiss francs, which is approximately the same in US dollars uh, euro and a little less in british pounds so you what you're getting here is actually a very very nice watch at, at this price point this is a, a, a clear winner for me now here we have the hamilton khaki aviation x-wind watch so this is a true monster of an aviation watch i'm really amazed with this watch it, it looks absolutely brilliant and they did some really really cool things with this watch Actually, they're, they're fitting this watch with an ETA Valshu 7750 automatic chronograph movement, which is really nice. Uh, they have modified this to call it the Hamilton, the H21 caliber, which gives you a power reserve of up to 60 hours. Very, very nice. Also, um, if you look at the watch, it's a really, really big and tough looking watch. A true uh, aviation watch, a very masculine offering for for people who are who are probably into Breitling. So if you're kind of into Breitling, but you won't spend the money on a Breitling, or you really like this, more you run, want a really masculine watch like this, um, maybe this uh, X-Wing would be, uh, Kagi, uh, Kagi watch would be a, a good choice for you, the Kagi X-Wind automatic chrono. It's It measures 45 millimeters. It comes in stainless steel case with the black PVD uh, coating and as well, as well as a screw down crown. Uh, it has a multi-level black dial. Also, uh, as I told, as I said, uh, it comes with this very nice uh, 60 hours of power reserve. It's water resistant down to 100 meters and it's, uh, it's crystal is sapphire crystal with double anti-reflective coating. So this really helps the, the watch being really easy to read a, a very legible. So just have a look at this watch. It looks absolutely uh, very masculine and very big and tough. 
And last but not least, uh, a watch that immediately uh, really caught my eye. Um, this is what the Hamilton are doing with the, trying to do a new kind of popular dive watch. And this is called the Kagi Navy Scuba. And I actually absolutely love the different dimensions and the color scheme of this. You get an automatic dive watch, uh, actually with the H10 automatic caliber movement, which uh, gives you no less than 80 hours of power reserve. This is quite amazing. And what they did right here uh, was actually keeping the, the, the size down to 40 millimeters. So here you get a really nice, a 40 millimeter dive watch. If it's fixed with the super low Minova, uh, you get a, a date uh, indication, a date window at uh, just about what's uh, three, four, five o'clock. And also you get the uh, sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating and 100 meters of water resistance. With only 100 meters of water resistance, you can't really call this a true dive watch. Uh, you should go 200 meters and, and more, uh, in my opinion, but still an absolutely uh, brilliant offering at a price point of only 695 Swiss francs. So this is an absolutely interesting watch at this price point. It comes in an all black version with a black, uh, all black uh, uh, bezel insert uh, with a, uh, on a stainless steel uh, bracelet. Also, it comes in, in this beautiful orange uh, style where the, you can get it with a very nice NATO strap or with a, a stainless steel bracelet as well. An absolutely interesting watch if you're looking for kind of a, a mid-tier, lower mid-tier uh, entry-level dive watch, automatic Swiss dive watch. I think they did a really good job here. I really like the, the whole color idea of the orange and the black with the, the orange 15 minutes indication on the bezel insert. Uh, also the orange second hand and uh, the orange colors on the dial. I think they did a really interesting job with this watch. So I'm looking forward to seeing it out in the, in the shops and on the online shops because I would believe that you would be able at some point to get this at a, a lower price than what it's, uh, what it's saying that it's going to be sold for now. So I think a very interesting buy watch offering from Hamilton watches. So this was just a short walkthrough of the few new watches that Hamilton uh, releasing this year at Basel World 2017. I hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the logo button down on the right corner of your screen. Then you will get notifications whenever I'm releasing new video content. Also remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Google+, write me an email, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and leave me a comment. My name is Anas. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.